Have you ever wondered how the war machine we know as the tank came into existence? Our story begins in the midst of the First World War, a time when the face of warfare was changing dramatically. The traditional strategies of open field battles were being replaced by trench warfare, a development that brought about a stalemate, with neither side able to gain an advantage. Enter the tank, an invention conceived to break this deadlock. Strategists envisioned a machine that could traverse rough terrains, resist gunfire and cross trenches, thus overcoming the challenges posed by this new form of warfare. The first model to materialize from this vision was the British Mark Warst, a mechanical marvel of its time. With its armored shell and caterpillar tracks, it encapsulated the essence of what a tank should be. It wasn't perfect, but it was a significant step forward. So the tank was born out of necessity to break the stalemate of trench warfare. As with any technology, tanks too evolved over time. But how exactly did they transform? Let's delve into the fascinating world of World War II, a period that saw a rapid transformation in tank technology. The onset of the war marked a significant shift from the boxy, lumbering tanks of World War I. The transformation began with the introduction of turret designs. These turrets, mounted on a rotating platform, gave the tanks a 360-degree field of fire. No longer did the tanks need to move their entire body to aim at an enemy. Their turrets could swivel independently, making them more agile and deadly. Then came the need for improved armor. As anti-tank weaponry advanced, so did the need for tanks to withstand heavy fire. Developers responded by increasing the armor's thickness and slope. This slope not only deflected shells but also effectively increased the armor's thickness without adding extra weight. Concurrently, firepower saw a significant leap forward. The German Tiger, for instance, was equipped with an 88mm gun, a weapon so powerful it could pierce the armor of any Allied tank. On the other hand, the Soviet T-34, arguably one of the most influential tanks of the war, boasted a 76mm gun and sloped armor, making it a formidable opponent on the Eastern Front. Tanks, once regarded as support vehicles, were now central to the battle plan. Their role in major battles was pivotal. From the sandy dunes of North Africa to the snowy landscapes of the Eastern Front, tanks proved their worth. They broke through enemy lines, held ground and even provided infantry support, establishing their importance in ground assaults. One can't discuss the advancements in tank technology without acknowledging the key models that emerged during this period. The German Tiger, the Soviet T-34, the American Sherman, each played a crucial role in shaping the outcome of the war and the future of tank development. By the end of World War II, tanks had become a crucial part of any ground assault, their designs reflecting the lessons learned on the battlefield. It's a testament to the ingenuity and adaptability of engineers and soldiers alike, who continued to push the boundaries of what was possible in the face of adversity. Fast forward to the 21st century, and tanks have become even more formidable. So what does a modern tank look like? Imagine a beast of metal and power, cloaked in a protective shell of reactive armor. This isn't your ordinary steel plate. Reactive armor is designed to explode outward when hit, disrupting the energy of an incoming projectile and increasing the tank's survivability. Then we have the firepower. Modern tanks like the American M1 Abrams pack a punch with their smooth-bore guns, capable of firing a variety of high-explosive anti-tank rounds. These aren't just any guns, they are precision instruments, delivering deadly force to targets several kilometers away, but what makes these tanks truly formidable is what's inside. The heart of a modern tank is its computerized control systems. These systems manage everything from targeting to navigation, turning these armored beasts into highly efficient machines of war. And we can't talk about modern tanks without mentioning the Russian T-14 Armada. It's a symbol of the next generation of armored warfare with features like an unmanned turret and an active protection system that can intercept incoming projectiles. Today's tanks are a far cry from their World War I ancestors, equipped with the best that technology has to offer. So, how has the journey of tanks been from the battlefields of World War I to today? Let's recap. Tanks have evolved from simple armored vehicles purposed for trench warfare to today's modern behemoths, bristling with cutting-edge technology. This evolution has been marked by ceaseless innovation, with each new generation of tanks better than its predecessor. From the trenches of World War I to the digitized battlefields of the 21st century, the tank has truly come a long way evolving and adapting to the demands of warfare.